Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Symbol for Four. So today, guys, we are going to be doing our last World Cup video for the year 2022. I know I've been doing a lot of World Cup videos, and this will be my first, second video, I think, of World Cup 2026. So today, I want to go ahead and discuss which nations I think will make it to the 2026 World Cup. Now, keep in mind, these are very early predictions. This is only be made by December 22nd. I mean, December 2022. So a lot can change upon that, you know. And these are the predictions that I don't even know what the playoff spots are going to look like, you know. So, like, um, um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this um, pans out, how this ages. And um, obviously, it's going to be very, very interesting, of course. So, let me just preference some rules first. Rule number one is that this is just my opinion. So, don't get offended if I didn't pick your national team here. It's not that I didn't like your na national team. It's just that I just feel so thrilled that your national team isn't good enough, okay? Another thing to note is that um, during this process, I also picked um, some upsets. I don't think every nation, all the big nations will qualify. Even with the expanded format, I still think we're going to see some big national teams miss out. So just so you know, um, just because you're a big nation doesn't automatically mean that I'm considering you, okay? So just so you know, and remember, guys, this is just my opinion. So like I said, um, I hope you guys do enjoy. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started, guys, with the format itself. So as you guys can see, I'm going to try to explain the format. It's a bit confusing, so I got a screenshot here from the Wikipedia page. So let's start with every confederation. So an OFC, actually, let's start with UEFA. UEFA is simple. We're going to get 16 nations in the World Cup. There's no playoff spot, nothing like that. 16 guaranteed, okay? I mean, there is going to be playoffs in the UEFA thing, but there's not going to be, like, playoffs in, like, the other confederations, okay? OFC, we're going to get one and a third spot. Um, they actually doing thirds this time, which is basically, like, one spot in the playoffs. And so obviously we'll have a guaranteed representative in this year's World Cup. And then obviously Condable, we're going to get six and a third compared to the traditional four and a half. And then for CONCACAF, we're going to get six, two and a third. And the reason why it's two thirds is because CONCACAF is a host and host nations just get an extra spot in the playoff. Okay. And then CAF is going to have one third, nine and a third. Nine, CAF is going to get a big, big increase. And AFC is going to get eight and a third. So I think you could see from the big the format change. I think Africa and Asia is getting the big, big winners here. Big, big winners here. So I hope all of them make sense. And I did do a separate slide with the playoff teams, by the way, towards the end. Let's go ahead and look through the first confederation. Let's go ahead and go to the first confederation right here, which we have here. It is OFC. Um, for me, OFC was the most straightforward. I think it is the most straightforward that there is. I mean, is there even any discussion to be had here? It's obviously... New Zealand. They're the best OFC nation. I don't think there's any nation that national team that comes close in their um, caliber. Um, I did pick a national team to make the playoffs, so um, I'll show you guys the playoff slide at the very end. Um, right now, though, New Zealand is the best, and they will make the World Cup 100%. Like, I'm very confident with this pick. I'll be very surprised if they don't make the World Cup. Okay? So, they always make the OFC. They always make the Inter-Confederation playoffs as well. Now we go to CONCACAF. CONCACAF was a bit tricky. It was a bit, bit tricky to call. Um, these are the six I've decided. Obviously, we have um, USA, Mexico, Canada. They obviously are going to make it, which is pretty obvious. I mean, you know, they're the host nations after all. I think El Salvador is going to make this World Cup in particular. I've been really, really impressed with what El Salvador did in the last um, qualifying cycle. I think they played really, really well. Um, I think they were great, honestly, defensively speaking. I think they have a great coach, Hugo Perez. I think he's done a fantastic job with this team, and he's made this team to where they are. I think they can compete against the big boys. My only concern with El Salvador, though, is I can they get their attack to score more goals. I think that's really the big concern I would have with El Salvador, and is that if they can fix their goal scoring issue, I think they'll be fine to qualify for the World Cup, which will be pretty incredible. Then I think Panama will qualify. I think Panama should have enough in their tanks to qualify. I mean, they honestly should have qualified for this World Cup. I mean, the way that they were playing, they had a great start. It's just the last few games they really messed up. And in, it's a brutal cycle, man. And that if you mess up like one or two games, especially in a World Cup qualifying, you're going to mess it up. You know, and I just think for Panama, man, they need to be a bit more consistent. And they can be a bit more consistent. I think they'll be able to qualify to this World Cup with ease. Um, they were really, really, uh, really um, competitive to beat, you know, like some Mexico, Canada, and USA drop points against them. And I think that's a very testament to how good they are. That's a really big uh, and that shows how big they are. And, of course, they also made the 2018 edition. So you cannot write them off. They have pedigree there. 
And then obviously you have Costa Rica. Um, I do think Costa Rica will really struggle in this World Cup qualifying cycle because obviously I don't anticipate Killer Navas being a mainstay. I don't think Killer Navas will be a main integral part to the team. Um, although I still do think Costa Rica still, I, I still think they have some good young players. I think they're going to do well. Um, and you know, like I said, the Costa Rica, they have a lot of good football and heritage. You cannot write them off. And I think they'll qualify as World Cup, probably not as comfortably as years past, but I think they'll still be able to, you know, get in that fifth or sixth spot, I would say. And so for CONCACAF, man, it was pretty straightforward for my picks, um, and so forth. Now we get to Condable. Condable, I went with a big curveball here. I went with a big curveball. You're going to see right here. You guys can already see. Um, so for Condable, guys, I think it was pretty simple. We obviously have Brazil, Argentina. I think they're going to cruise through um, qualifiers. I mean, we, we just saw how both the national teams advanced to Baca stage the World Cup. Uruguay, I'm a bit questionable with them. I don't think Uruguay is as good as they used to be. Um, maybe their coach was the issue. But I think right now with Uruguay, they need to. I, I think they need to um, be a bit more open. I think my issue with Uruguay is they're a bit too pragmatic in this World Cup. And if they can, like, be, like, a bit more, like, direct, not be as, like, pragmatic, I think they'll be able to do well, and they should be able to qualify. Ecuador, look what they did in the World Cup. They were so good. I honestly, they should have advanced from that group. They should have advanced. Now, these last two national teams, it was very difficult to call. I went with Colombia because they were very, very close to making this year's World Cup. And if they just could, they could, if they could just score more goals, they would have made it this year's pl- World Cup. They would have made the playoff spot, and they were only one point behind. So, yeah, I think Colombia will do it um, even though the goal scoring issues is still largely there and then i actually have venezuela i know it's a crazy call to make i know a lot of people might be surprised but i'm actually really surprised with venezuela team i think they have a very good team i think their team is really talented they have some really good players i think darwin matches is a player i really am excited to see this guy is a baller um obviously you have Roland on joseph martinez you know the goalkeeper is really good Mar- farfan i think is the goalkeeper name He's a really talented goalkeeper, one of the best goalkeepers in Condable. And I just think that Venezuela, man, I just think they could finally do it this year because I'm looking at the other national teams competing alongside with them. Like, I just feel like for Paraguay, I just feel like they're just, Paraguay is just too defensive for me. And then I'm looking at the other national teams like Peru. I think Peru have really are going to really go on a downfall with their new coach. I don't think their new coach and a lot of the Peruvian players are very old. Um, and then obviously you have Chile and um, Bolivia. Um, Bolivia, obviously, we're, we know they're not good enough uh, for Condable. And I just think of Venezuela, you just have to pick them. You know, I just think they're on a huge rising trajectory. I think they're looking really, really good for the future. And um, if they could just sort out the federation and get a stable coach and actually show up. Because they have a talented squad, guys. They actually have a talented team. And the fact that they always um, get, like, um, very, they always finish, like, very disappointingly. And I think, fun fact for you guys, the only national team in Condable has never qualified to the World Cup. So, they could finally do history and do it. So I'm um, hoping they can prove me wrong and qualify for this year's World Cup. You know, it's a big surprise, a big shock. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it until it's mathematically impossible. Okay, now we have AFC. AFC for me was pretty straightforward, I have to say. Um, I was actually tempted to pick some upset here in the uh, oh, AFC, but um, we'll get to that. Obviously, I think Japan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Australia, South Korea... I mean, we just know how good these six nations are. They were in the World Cup. Now, I know some people are questioning about Qatar. Um, are they a good Asian team? They are still a great Asian team because they are they are very good when it comes to Asian football. I mean, they won the Asian Cup for crying out loud. So you can't say they're a bad national team. I just think that for me personally, I think the bigger issue is that they cannot compete against non-AFC opponents. I think that's a bigger issue for them. And is that if they could sort that out, then I think they'll be um, then they'll be good in the World Cup. But in terms of qualifying, I just think they're too good for AFC. I mean, they have some quality players like Almos, Ali, Haidos, you know, etc. And I just feel like they're just too good. And now, even though Australia is a team that you know isn't that great uh, per se, but they always have a fighting spirit. I think our Australia just have that fighting courage spirit to them that uh, most of these other national teams don't have. You know, and obviously with Japan, there's enough quality there. Saudi Arabia, there's enough quality. Iran, of course, South Korea. Now, the last two spots were really dip- difficult for me. I think UAE is going to finally do it. They always make the playoffs. They're so, so close. And I just feel like, for me, UAE will just about do it. Uh, they have some quality players. Ali Magbud, their top goal scorer, is insane. And they they played against Australia in the playoffs and only lost by one goal margin. So I think they're a good quality Asian team. And then I think Syria will just about make the World Cup. They were really disappointed in last year's qualifiers, this edition qualifiers that just took place. But I feel like in the 2026, they'll be a lot better. 
And remember, guys, they barely missed off the World Cup 2018 by the playoffs. Some notable honorable mentions I have are Iraq, you know, Oman, Lebanon. I mean, you'll see if I pick any of those for the playoff teams. Um, but yeah, I just think that for me, um, you'll have to see what I pick for the playoffs. Okay. And now for CAF. CAF, 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 guys. This was interesting, guys. I made some big decisions here. I made some big decisions. I think Senegal will definitely qualify. There's not even, I even need to argue, make an argument for this one. I think Algeria will actually make this year's World Cup. I think, um, not this year, sorry, 2026. I think they have a very talented squad here in Riyad Mahrez, Benacer. You know, they won the AFCON for Crown of Light 2019. And I just think for Algeria, just had a blimp in the AFCON that I think affected their qualifying uh, qualification thing. And I think that's what actually let them down the most. And remember, guys, they almost made the World Cup. They were literally one minute away from making the World Cup, guys. And so that's why I think they're going to do it. Uh, I think I want to see Burkina Faso. They've always been a great nation when it comes to um, uh, AFCON in particular. They never quite shown it in the World Cup stage, though, World Cup qualifying stage, which has been the biggest concern. Obviously, Ivory Coast as well. I want to see them them return. We haven't seen them in a while. They have some quality players like, you know, Kessie. Um, and then obviously, you know, I forgot that guy's name. He's at, um, I think he's at Tottenham, right? Serge Aurier. No, I think he's at Villarreal, actually. Yeah, at the Tunisia, obviously, they're always a good quality agent. I mean, sorry, what did I say? African nation, they always are a competitive nation. Then Ghana, of course, um, and Nigeria, Morocco. And then I think Mali's going to do it. I think Mali's going to do it, guys. I think Mali is going to do it. I've been so, so impressed with the team that they have. And I just think that they're going to do it, Sam. I think they're just going to do it, man. I think they're going to do it. So I think Mali's going to do it, guys. So, yeah, as you guys can see, I have no Cameroon and no Egypt. I think those are two big shocks, but one of them, too, I may have in the playoffs. You're going to have to see the playoff pages that I have. Okay, now for UEFA. So I'm sorry the text is really small here um, because, you know, there's a lot of UEFA nations I had to put here on this slide. So um, um, let me try to make it uh, a little bit um, big, uh, read it to you guys. So obviously we have Netherlands are going to qualify. England will qualify. France will qualify. Denmark will qualify. They're just too good. I mean, I know Denmark had a really bad World Cup campaign, but, you know, just, I, I still think Denmark should be able to do good in the UEFA qualifiers. Uh, Germany should qualify as well, even though they didn't look that good in the World Cup. They had a really easy group, and I think Germany's just too good for you with most of the European nations. In terms of qualifying, Spain as well, Croatia as well, Switzerland, Serbia, Portugal. I believe those are the national teams that were in uh, the World Cup 2022. Now, I actually had some national teams that didn't make. Like I think you guys can see that I didn't pick Wales. I did not pick... Um, um, I didn't pick Wales, and I believe which other national did I not pick? We'll get to that. Anyways, I think Italy will be back at this year's one. They should make it. I mean, they, I mean, if Italy don't make it, man, we're going to have to have a lot of questions. I think Hungary's going to make it. I've been really, really impressed with what Hungary did in the Nations League and the Euros. They just need to translate it over to the World Cup qualifying cycle. Ukraine, I think people need to respect what Ukraine did. Ukraine were absolutely brilliant in the World Cup qualifiers. They were very difficult to beat, and um, yeah, they were very difficult to beat, you know, so um, I think they were very close to making this year's World Cup, of course. Norway, I think Erling Holland will carry them over. And then obviously Sweden with the talented players they have. And I think Czech Republic. So I think the big omission you guys have right here is that there is no Wales. That I think is a big national team. I think they're going to miss the 2026 World Cup. I also think Poland is going to miss out. I think Poland is going to miss out because I don't know if Robert Lewandowski is going to be I don't know how, I just think that Poland is too reliant upon him, and I just don't think Poland will really be that, do, be that good without him, in my personal opinion. I'm not sure if he's going to stay there. All right, now let's go get the playoff nations. Let's go get the nations I have making the playoffs. So, playoff na national teams. So, as you guys can see, I have Lebanon representing Asia. I think Lebanon is a very quality team. They were very good in the um, World Cup qualifiers. And Asia, I think they're very underrated. Um, I know people are going to be surprised I didn't put Iraq because Iraq's probably one of the up there. I just, you know, I just don't think Iraq's really that great. I was also tempted to put Vietnam, but I think Vietnam, this has come a bit too early for them. So I was tempted to put them. China as well, the same, you know. Yeah. And then Egypt, I, I, I just think Egypt's going to do it. Um, you know, they're one of the most successful African nations in football. Um, I'm a bit skeptical on Egypt, whether they'll make the playoffs or not, but I gave them benefit of the doubt just because, you know, they have a quality team. You know, you're Trezeguet and Mohamed Salah. And I'm sure Saul is going to really be motivated because he wants to make this World Cup because he knows this is probably his last um, one. Uh, Jamaica as well. And then I actually put Curacao. I think Curacao is one of the most underrated CONCACAF national teams. Um, I was really, really impressed with what they did in the World Cup qualifiers. They made it to the um, the knockouts, the, the playoffs, in which they lost to Panama. 
And so I feel like um, Curacao is a good national team. And I think they can, it's kind of similar to what I said with El Salvador is that if they can find their ways to score goals more regularly, then I think they can do it. So, you know, I was tempted to put like the likes of Suriname, Haiti, you know, and then um, Honduras. But I just think Honduras has been so bad. Honduras have looked so bad the recent couple of years. And so I've not been impressed with Honduras. And I think Solomon Islands is the second best nation um, national team in the OFC. And I think Chile will make seventh spot. Now, let me tell you guys the national teams I think will make the World Cup. So I bolded the national teams I think will make this year's World Cup, will make the 2026. And it'll be Jamaica and Chile. Now, let me go ahead and preference right here what the playoff tournament is going to be like. So let me read it. This is straight from the Wikipedia page. So the playoff tournament, the playoff tournament involving six teams will be decide will be held to decide the final two World Cup berths. Six teams are one team in each Confederate six of UEFA and one additional team from the Confederates in the host con countries, CONCACAF in this occasion. Two of the teams will be seated based on the world rankings, and these teams will play for a World Cup berth against the winner of two knockout games between the four unseeded teams. The four game is to be played in one or more host countries and will be used as a test event for the FIFA World Cup. So from my understanding, what's going to happen is I think the two highest ranked national teams, which I believe in this occasion would actually probably be Chile and maybe Egypt, maybe. Um, you know, I think Egypt and Chile would probably be the highest ranked. And then they'll probably do like a playoff tournament between the other four national teams. And then we'll have a winner. You know, it'll be kind of like a tournament thing. And I think the winner... Um, we'll probably play between the two highest ranked. We'll probably play the winner of this tournament thing here. So it'll be interesting. So yeah, I don't think Egypt's going to make it, guys. I think Egypt's going to barely, barely miss up once again. But yeah, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, it's anyone's guess. You know, I could be wrong in uh, three and a half years because the next World Cup's in three and a half years' time. And let's see how many I can get right, guys. How many, how many I can get right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. I want to know what your guys' um, national teams are in the comment section below. Of course, if you're watching this, um, remember guys to like this video. If you did enjoy it, subscribe to new idea, comment up with your thoughts, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.